Welcome to DIY Project Party. My name is Ben. You're here, so let's get this party started. Do you have an in-home security system? Maybe it was installed by a professional or maybe it was installed when you built your house. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to about $15 worth of equipment and then we're going to connect it to the Samsung SmartThings hub so that you can get push notifications. So, first step in all of these projects, because they don't always go well, is make yourself a drink. Once you have your drink, let's get started. All right, go to the connected website. The website will be in the video description. Now, go down and make sure that you have these things already uh, configured. The SmartThings hub, and make sure you have this panel uh, located in your house somewhere. So next what you need to do is go over to Amazon and get yourself one of these Node MCU boards with the base. And also while you're there, pick up a pack of these female to female jumpers. Next, go to the connected GitHub site. And then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna clone uh, slash download this zip file to your desktop. Next, scroll down and what you're gonna to have to do is download the device drivers for your computer. So click on Windows, click OK, again, save this file to the desktop. So once you're on your desktop, extract the driver for the Node MCU onto your desktop, and then double click on this, open it up, run, and then yes, and then install this driver. Plug your node MCU into the base and then connect it to your computer through micro USB. You're going to want the data connection for this. What you're going to do next is go down on the GitHub page and download the node MCU Pi Flasher tool. Scroll all the way down to where it says release section under installation. After you click that, find the version for your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this again to the desktop. So before you launch that program, make sure that you unzip the connected uh, zip file, run the tool, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up along with the website to make sure that I have the baud rate and the flash mode correct. Now I know this is on COM port three, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna browse on my desktop to the file that we just extracted, the connected security master, go into the firmware file, and then select the bin file. So after you hit flash, it's going to upload all the contents and flash the, the firmware onto the Node MCU. Now this is gonna take a few minutes, the video has been sped up. So close this program and, so next what you're gonna to wanna to do is download the ESplorer tool. So go down all the way at the end where it says ESplorer downloads and download the, the zip file to your desktop. So extract the folder to your desktop and then open the .bat file. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up with the website in the background to make sure that I have the right COM port, the right baud rate. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on open. Now when I do that, uh, it's not going to be connected to the Node MCU. So what you have to do is you have to hit the reset button on the Node MCU in order for it to start connecting with the program. So next, go to upload and find your desktop. Go to the master and upload everything in the SRC folder by uh, what you can do is select the first file, hold down shift, select the last file and click open. So this has been sped up but it does take a few minutes to upload to the Node MCU. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna switch over to my cell phone. So on my phone, I'm gonna open up the Wi-Fi settings and look for the connected security SSID. After you connect to it, it's going to check uh, the internet quality and you're not going to get an internet connection because what you wanna do is connect this to your home network. So what you do is you open up a browser and go to 192.168.4.1. Now, here's the configuration page for the Node MCU. 
So connect it to a 2.4 gigahertz network, enter in the password, and after you hit submit, what it's gonna do, it's going to reboot the Node MCU and it's gonna connect it to your home network. Your phone automatically is gonna reconnect back to your home network and if you check the Wi-Fi and you don't see a connected security SSID, you know that it's successfully connected. So back on the GitHub website, follow the links to the next step, which is enable GitHub integration. Click on the SmartThings API website and once you get onto the website, log in with your SmartThings username and password. Next, go to My Locations and click on your SmartThings hub. Click on My Smart Apps and click on Enable GitHub Integration. Make sure you authorize the application and click Next. Now sign in with your GitHub username and password. If you don't have one, you need to register for one. So from here, click on Next and then it should take you back to My Smart Apps where you click on Settings and make sure that it says GitHub Repository Integration at the top, add a new repository, and then under Owner, delete what's there and type in connected-io. This is also on the connected GitHub website. Under Name, type in connected-security and under Branch, type in Stable and then click Save. Next, what you're gonna do is update from repo. Click on Connected Security Stable. Now what you wanna do is check both boxes and then hit Execute Update. Now you've connected these two smart apps and what you wanna do is edit both of these. So click on the Edit button, which is a little box with like a little pen through it. Go down to OAuth and enable OAuth. Once you have it uh, enabled, click on Update, and then click Cancel. Now what you're gonna do is follow the same steps for the second one. Go down to OAuth, Enable OAuth, click Update, and Cancel. So next what you wanna do is go up to My Device Handlers, click on Update from Repo, and, and choose Connected Security again. Now these are the list of all of your sensors. So what you wanna do is check I checked all of the boxes, but check, check the boxes that pertain to your uh, particular setup. I happen to check all of the boxes because I wanted to see them all. And then click Execute Update. And this may take a second for them to all register. And then now, all of them should be listed under Device Handlers. All right, once we've installed the Device Handlers with, every, with the directions from GitHub, Go back to the document uh, website of Connected and we're gonna move on to mounting. Next, unplug the Node MCU and you're ready to install it in your patch panel. So your alarm patch panel should look something like this. Now, all of your, all of your windows and doors are wired in to zones. So what you need to do first is take a screwdriver and disconnect each of the wires and the zones. Next, strip all the wires and make sure to take off any of the resistors because they are not needed. After you have all of the wires stripped, what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate each bundle. Now each bundle of wires is considered a zone. Uh, you can tell a zone by a red wire connected to a black wire. And what this means is that multiple doors or multiple windows are connected together. Now you can leave them as zones uh, like I'm going to do, or you can cut these apart. So using multiple node MCUs, what you could do is you can connect each individual uh, window and door to a pin on the node MCU and then have it report in the app as uh, an individual device. Next, what you wanna do is take one of these female to female jumper wires and the ends that you've stripped off, you're gonna put right into one of the female ends and the other side you're gonna connect directly to the board. So I'm gonna continue using a cell phone charger with a micro USB plug. You could connect it to a 24 volt wall wart and plug it in and plug that into your Node MCU which will convert it to five volts for your board. 
So take your board and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start connecting each of these zones or individual windows and doors to the pins on the board. The input pins that can be used are D1, D2, D5, D6, D7, and RX. All right, so here I have my jumper wires and what I'm gonna do is connect one side of it to ground and one side of it to D1. All right, so after you get D1 connected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the other sensors being connected to the connected board or the node MCU base uh, very quickly. So I've opened up the SmartThings app on my phone and what I've done is I've gone to automation and I'm gonna hit add a smart app, uh, but make sure that you're under the smart apps tab on top. So add a smart app. And then down at the bottom is you're gonna hit my apps. Now click on connected and click add a connected device. So tap, click here for discovery. What it's gonna do is gonna search your home network for a connected device. And there we go, we found one. And now we're using the Node MCU base instead of the connected alarm panel. So click that. And then here is where we start assigning pins and setting names to each of the pin. So for the D1 pin, uh, I've just connected uh, a door, so it's gonna be open close. And then I'm gonna name it uh, front door. So now go up to save. So then it's gonna say successfully added. So then click save again. All right, successfully connected. All right, now go back to your home. And now in a second or two, there we go. We have the front door show up. So now what we're gonna do is add another sensor. It's gonna be another open and close sensor, but I know that I've connected the upstairs windows to D2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add those And then what we'll see is the upstairs windows show up on the My Home tab. Now it's time to test this out. So you can see here that the front door is closed and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the door and you'll see the status change from closed to open. So after I close it, you'll see that the status has changed to close. Now that we know that these sensors work, what we're gonna do is add a routine so that we can get smart notifications pushed to our cell phone. So I'm gonna to go to add a routine and then I'm gonna give this routine a name. So I'm gonna call this security. And then we're gonna to go to automatically perform security. Wait for this to load. And then we're, we're gonna scroll down to something opens or closes. And then we're going to tap which, and then we're gonna do front door and upstairs windows, done. We're gonna do this on open, so make sure that that is selected. So touch save. And then what we wanna do is scroll down, and we don't automatically to do this if the mode is uh, home, because we don't want these things going off when I'm at home. And then also be sure to enable push notifications. And then click save. So now we have a security routine. So if we go and look at the goodbye routine that's already set up, what this does is it changes the mode to away and then the I'm back routine changes the mode to home. Awesome, now that we got that set up, what we're gonna try is our goodbye routine. And then what we're gonna do is go back over to my home and we're gonna open up the front door again. This time the status changes to open and the SmartThings hub pushes a notification directly to your phone. Well, there you go. 
Now you have a home security system that pushes notifications anytime that somebody opens up a window or door right to your cell phone. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, or leaving a comment below. So until next time, keep the party going and keep on making.